Cornbread's one of those great staples of southern cooking, and this version, studded with crispy pieces of smoky bacon and finished with a maple butter glaze, is a great side dish and perfect for mopping up barbecue sauce. Now I've started off by frying some small pieces of smoky bacon, and I just want to drain those off, but I'm using this pan to make the cornbread, so I want to keep any of that bacon fat in there because that's going to add flavour to the finished dish. Now if you're vegetarian or you don't eat bacon, then this is just as good without the meat. So for my dry ingredients, I've got some polenta and some flour, and to that I'm going to add salt, a bit of baking powder, and some bicarbonate of soda. And then for my wet ingredients, I've got some buttermilk, and to that I'm going to add an egg, some maple syrup, then just take a fork and beat that together. And take a whisk and just start to combine the dry ingredients and make a bit of a well in the centre and then add your wet mixture. And just whisk that together to combine. And then add some melted butter. I'm just going to keep a little bit back for frying the cornbread. Just stir that all together. And then just stir through all those bacon bits. And that's the mixture ready. So take your bacon pan, set it over a medium heat, and add that last bit of butter into the pan. So just heat that butter in the pan till it's foaming. What I'm going to do is actually cook the cornbread in this pan, so it's going to take up all that fantastic flavour from the bacon. But if you don't have an oven-proof pan, then you can heat the butter up in a roasting tin and just add the mixture to that. So as soon as the butter's foaming, just take the mixture and spoon it into the pan. And then, just using the back of a spoon, spread the mixture out. Now that needs to go straight into the oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. While the cornbread's in the oven, I'm going to make the maple butter glaze. So, I've just melted some butter in a pan here, and then I'm going to add some maple syrup to that. So just swirl those together and take it off the heat. And then I'll check on my cornbread. That's risen up really nicely and it's got a lovely golden crust. So I'm just going to take about half of this glaze and brush it all over the top. That looks lovely. Now that just goes back into the oven for another five minutes just to finish off. That looks beautiful. So just the final stage is just brush over all of that lovely remaining glaze and leave it in the pan to cool for about 10 minutes before cutting into wedges and serve it still warm. And this bacon cornbread is southern soul food at its finest. Mm -hmm.